I'm a former visa officer, and as a visa officer, did I make decisions about a visa applicant before they came to their interview? This is a question that I get from a lot of my clients. Here at Argo, we get clients from all around the world, all different types of visas, and they all ask us the same question. Is the decision already made? Is my visa decision already made when I go to that window? Because it seems like the visa officer already knows what they're going to say. They didn't ask me very many questions. They didn't look at any of my documents. They already knew that they were going to refuse me or they already knew that they were going to issue that other guy. Well, here's the truth about it. No, the visa officer does not make a decision in advance. Someone else has not made a decision in advance. A computer has not made a decision in advance. An AI has not made a decision in advance. When you show up to the visa interview, you're starting right then. When you show up to the visa window and you hand your passport and your application form to the visa officer and they scan it and open up your DS-160 to start looking at your application, that is when your adjudication begins. That's when the decision-making process begins. For 99.9% .9 of applicants, that is the very first time that the visa officer or anyone there at the consular section at the embassy or the consulate has looked at your application with regards to whether or not they want to issue or refuse your visa. Now I said 99.99%. .99%. So now you're thinking, oh, maybe I was that 0.1% because it seemed to me like they definitely already knew that they were going to refuse me at my interview. Let me assure you, if you're watching this, you're probably not in that 0.1% of people. It's very rare, very specific situations where something might be looked at beforehand. For everybody who's just a normal visa applicant, like you, you're a normal visa applicant. You want to go to the US for a business trip, for tourism, to study at a university, right? Your intentions are to go to the US, use the visa as intended, and then come back to your country. For you, you are in the 99.9% Nothing about your application has been reviewed by any visa officer before you show up at the window for your visa interview. Now, this is going to be contrary to a lot of things that you might read on some other sites. There's a lot of people that speculate, why should you trust me? Why should you trust what I'm telling you right now? Well, I personally have done over 60,000 visa interviews. The other visa officers, former visa officers at Argo have combined completed a total of over 1 million visa interviews. We're the real experts on this. When you read something from someone else who says, no, no, it was definitely made in advance. That's someone who has attended how many visa interviews? One, their own, two, three, if they were refused a few times, four or five for one person, that's about the max you might get. Or maybe it's an agent who's helped people apply for visas. Well, how many people? How many people have they tried to help pass their visa interview? A dozen, a hundred, a couple hundred? Even the most experienced agent who's working personally with a lot of visa applicants might only do a thousand, a couple thousand visa interviews. We've done, we've done over a million. Place your trust in the real experts on this. The visa decision has not been made before you walk into the visa interview. Now, now you know this information. You know this, you know the truth. You know uh, that despite there being a lot of misinformation out there on the internet, you know what the actual truth is about when the decision gets made on your visa interview. Now, how do you use that to your advantage? What it means is that the decision is not just made based on whatever you've already submitted to the embassy, your DS-160. It also means that the US government doesn't just have a, a, an infinitely knowledgeable system uh, that knows everything about your life, your history, your birth, your childhood, and everything that you've ever said to any friend or relative in your entire life, and then the decision is made based on that. No, what it means is that when you show up to the interview, the visa officer is going to have a very brief conversation with you, and they're going to base their decision on what information they get from you during that interview. That information is going to be whatever you choose to say to them, how you answer their questions. It's going to include the information that you've included on your DS-160 application form. That information, despite it taking you a long time to fill out, the visa officer is very practiced at scanning through it, identifying the relevant data points and assimilating that information to make a decision. It's also going to include whatever other applications you've submitted for a visa in the past, both immigrant and non-immigrant visa petitions, your interactions uh, with any immigration 
part of the immigration system of the US government, that's obviously going to be known to an immigration official, okay? So all of this information is going to be taken into account. The interview is a very important part of that. Many parts of this, this process are subjective. It relies on the visa officer's judgment. They're taking information that's not necessarily good or bad. Okay, your job title. It's not good or bad, it's, it's just a piece of information. Your salary, it could be relatively high, it could be relatively low, but it's just a piece of information. All of this is going to be considered holistically, and the visa officer is then going to make a decision about whether or not they feel that you are a credible visa applicant who's going to use the visa as it is intended. So it means that you can go into your visa interview and you have the power and the opportunity to convince the visa officer to issue you your visa. That's how you're gonna get your visa issued.